Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Uh, today we're going to do a little video on how to calibrate a boom sprayer. Uh, there's three things that are important about taking care of uh, the lawn and that's knowing what rate you're putting things down, using the right equipment uh, that you're using and the right uh, product, and also the right timing. So those are the three important things for success. So we gotta know what we're doing. And I have a lot of customers who have boom sprayers and they're just kind of guessing at things and stuff. And so <clears throat> we don't wanna guess. We wanna try to get it as close as possible because if we spray it too heavy, we might hurt the grass. If we spray it too light, then we're just gonna barely hurt the weeds and then we're gonna have to do it again and again. We're just wasting our money. And so uh, being accurate on what you're doing is really important. Uh, so calibrating a boom sprayer is really easy. There is a few tips I want to talk about first is when you get your boom sprayer ready to go, you want to make sure that the PSI is not so strong that you got all this mist drifting around and we get this drift so we're hurting other plants that we're not targeting. So try to get it so you have the least amount of mist going as possible uh, and then you'll go ahead and uh, start your spraying once you got it in that part. So first thing you got to do you got to have yourself a pad of paper and a pen. You need to have some sort of measuring device to measure an area. You need a measuring cup in order to measure your stuff. Uh, and then you're ready to go. So these are your things. And you'll need a stopwatch as well. Stopwatch as well. So, so what you do first is you'll kick this guy on. And you'll let it spray just plain water in it to kind of see what kind of distance we are. Then you'll shut it off. And then you're gonna measure your effective area that you're spraying, okay? And so we get my little measuring wheel here. And you're gonna be just a little inside where you see it wet because it's not gonna be effective out here. It's gonna to be too light. So you start just in the inside there and you'll measure across. And this one is about eight foot. And so eight foot is our number of how wide we spray. So you measure that first. Then you take and you divide a thousand by eight foot. Uh, and that will give you 125 feet and that's the distance that you need to cover in order to spray a thousand square feet okay and that's what we always do the math on is per thousand square feet when it comes to turf applications okay so then once you've gotten that done you'll measure out an area that's 125 foot long and we did that and so right here is a mark right here and then 125 feet that way it's another mark, okay? Now, the next step that you're gonna do, uh, you don't have to be spraying when you do this step, but you're gonna have to time how long it takes you to drive that 125 feet. And I like to get the pace I'm comfortable with. So on this one, he's got the throttle all the way down and he's got the pedal all the way down. So that way he can stay consistent on his speed. And so then when he goes around and he drives this distance, he'll actually hit this mark. I'll start my timer. And then he goes all the way down and I stop it. And then we ended up with 35 seconds on his first run. Then he turned himself around and he came back and we started the timer again. <laughs> and we ended up with uh, 34 seconds. So I just, just did the math on 34. That's my average speed more or less. 34 and a half if you can be really good with a stopwatch. But 34 seconds is a good timing, okay? And so that's how long it took him to drive that distance. So now the next step is to measure how many uh, gallons worth or how many ounces we spray in that, that distance. So let's go ahead and back up Thomas here. And I'm going to show something. All right, so we figured out that we measured that eight feet, right? We took 1,000 divided by eight. We got 125. Then we measured 125. Then we got our consistent speed that we want to spray at, and we timed that distance all the way back and forth. Now we're gonna measure. And so what we do is we come over here, we have our stopwatch, and we did this on this one. And so what you'll do is you'll put the stopwatch on, reset, you put this on. And what's nice is it's, it's easy. We don't have to try doing any timing and stuff. We just go ahead and measure. So. We'll take this guy underneath this, and we'll start it. What's also nice about doing this 
measuring is you'll find out if you're even on each side as well right and that'll help you know how many gallons you're putting out and if it's even on both sides this thing's got quite a bit in here so Thirty-four, and he is just over 32 ounces on that one maybe 33 okay and so we don't have to be perfectly accurate on it but we just want to make sure that we're in the ballpark okay and we did end up measuring the other side and it was exactly the same so I just automatically decided you know what it's about a half of a gallon per thousand square feet and that's pretty average that's pretty average as far as, you know, when you're spraying, uh, boom sprayers typically put out about a half a gallon per thousand square feet, but you want to measure it and make sure and calibrate. So calibration is really important. So now he's got a half a gallon per thousand square feet. And so for example, uh, the herbicide that we sell goes down at an ounce and a half per thousand square feet. And so that means that for every gallon he puts in, he's gonna to wanna to put in three ounces of the herbicide in order to get the rate that he wants. Uh, and that's how you calibrate a sprayer, pretty simple. Thanks so much, have a good day.